My name is Lucy Allen. Um, I'm from the Eastern Cape in South Africa. I work at Rhodes University, which is based in the Eastern Cape. Um, I'm a lecturer in pharmacy practice in the Faculty of Pharmacy at Rhodes University. The courses that I've attended at the Winter School 2015 um, are the uh, understanding and analyzing health policy, that was the one, and then the second one was introduction to health policy and systems research. Um, my expectations relate to um, what it is I'm, I'm here for. I'm currently doing a PhD um, at my institution as, as arts teaching. Um, and my PhD is in health policy, I'm applying it to a very practical pharmacy situation. And I have read quite broadly in this area, um, but I have not had the opportunity to meet with um, experts in the field and colleagues in the field to see how it all fits together, how the different concepts align um, the, the structure of the of the field, um, I've just had to sort of work through it myself uh, in my own time, and I can see how I've made some conceptual errors. So my expectations were essentially to come and see whether I was on the right track or not, and it the, the both courses have actually been quite fundamental in assisting me in showing exactly how the area the field is structured, and I am very grateful for that. I think when you think about the first course, understanding um, and analyzing health policy, I think everyone is going to go straight to the policy triangle, and so am I. I, I, have, I have read a bit about it um, and am using it in my own research. Um, but it was so incredible to have an entire week just dedicated to unpacking that particular concept and framework. Uh, very different from reading articles about it, uh, articles that have employed it in research, to, to being able to really thrash out the different aspects. And I'm, uh, yeah, once again, thrilled to have had that experience, that exposure. In this current course, what has been interesting is grappling with theories of health systems. So I didn't do the complex health systems course last week, so listening to my colleagues, you know, bringing that in to this week, has been very interesting and very educational for me. Um, and how exactly I'm going to employ those theories in my own work is something I really I need to think about. Um, there's definitely a place for it, and how and why is something I need to think through quite carefully. What has been quite challenging has been the so-called hidden curriculum, um, and that would be the group work. Um, I completely see how that is aligned with the values of the field altogether. The idea of learning how to work within interdisciplinary groups, working with people who have completely different backgrounds and experiences to, to yourself and who have um, a completely different set of interests and, and values and um, epistemological views. And the challenge there is not just to recognize the difference, but to learn to work with the difference um, uh, in attaining mutual goals. And that, that has been very challenging. I can really see the value in it at a personal level, but I can also see the value in it um, in understanding the field, because it is an interdisciplinary field drawing on the different disciplines. Questions that I still have regarding health policy and health um, policy and systems research concern how the field relates to the private sector. Um, this, is, this interest is located in my background as well. I am at an institution where we don't have a school of public health. We in fact don't even have a health uh, faculty. Um, it's really, it's predominantly humanities, commerce, and natural sciences and pharmacies is the only health-related field. And as a result of that, it, there's a strong focus on the private sector. Um, and 
the work that I have done in the, the professional work I've done uh, as a pharmacist in the area as well as the research work that I've done in the area leads me to believe that there there's more similarities between the private sector and the public sector than there are differences. The differences that do exist are, are significant and they are very very important they are ideological differences um, but from a research perspective, looking at policy and looking at systems, um, the more I get into this area, the more I can see how work in the private sector could really benefit from, from the insights and perspectives um, that, yeah, that can be derived from these courses. So that's something I would like to explore more.